Hi, yogis, and welcome to practice. It's Suzanne here coming to you from my home yoga studio. Today, I have a foundational practice for you. We'll be focusing on seated postures. So seated postures are often included in class at the beginning or at the end or both. They tend to be nice and grounding, nice and settling, which is why we see them often. Uh, this pose I'm in now is sometimes called easy seat or sukhasana. The word easy is in there for, for a purpose, for a reason. So make sure that as we practice today, you have a little bit of ease in each of your poses. But just as important, make sure you have that length of the spine. I like to um, use the analogy of the queen in chess. You want to make sure to protect the queen with everything you've got, with props, with your strength, with your energy, with your intention. As we practice today, be really mindful of any sensations that you experience, especially if you find pain or red flags or areas of concern. We can always omit those. We can maybe try to prop them up or modify them a little bit to make sure they fit your body and what you're practicing. So you might like some props today. Um, if you can, grab a couple of blankets or sturdy towels. If you have them, a couple of yoga blocks, and then definitely a strap, a long scarf, a cloth belt, something you can use in that way. So now, as I said, I'm in easy seat or sukhasana, and for me, this is a relatively comfortable, natural position for my body, the way my hips and legs are attached. If you practice yoga long enough, you'll find those poses that fit kind of naturally and are just at home on your body. Um, but for a lot of people, that's not the case. So usually the first thing I'll suggest is elevating the hips. So you might take one of the blocks under the hips and see if that gives you a little more freedom, a little more opportunity to create that length and strength of the spine. Um, you can add multiple blankets. If you need a little more lift, you might try a sturdy cushion. And if you need a lot of lift, you can sit in a chair. That certainly would be welcome. Now, if you are seated on the ground, sometimes you know the hips and the knees become a little bit of a challenge. So feel free to take your blocks or even blankets and add a little support there. And if you add support and it helps you get that tall spine, helps you add a little bit of that ease, you're probably on the right track. So take a moment and see if you can get into this sukhasana position, this easy seat position. Certainly, you know, up on a chair might work for you. If the folded legs don't work, maybe you extend them out. See if you can negotiate a starting position that just might work. If you need to pause, feel free to pause and start back up once you get the right configuration together. When you are ready, Sit up nice and tall, maybe close the eyes. Take a nice deep inhale and let it go. Start to settle into the breath. And as you settle into the breath, begin to open your heart to intention. Now, if seated postures, if this position feels a little bit challenging to you, maybe you welcome that intention of inserting ease. Maybe you're ready to really put that focus into protecting the queen, being nice and tall and strong through the spine. Whatever it is, welcome that intention. Maybe let the hands rest beside the body. Take a big inhale to reach up. And bring hands to the heart as you settle that intention to the heart. When you are ready, take a little drop of the chin and blink the eyes open. I'll mirror you today. So we'll start in a seated posture. If you can get to this Sukhasana shape, have that right shin forward. Get nice and tall. Hands rest on the knees or the thighs. And we'll start with a little cat-cow movement. So on an inhale, start to push the heart and the navel forward, maybe tip the tail back. And as you exhale, pull in through the navel, a little curl of the tail around the spine. And do that a few more times. Inhale, heart reaches. 
Exhale, coil. Just a few more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, coil. Inhale to reach. Exhale, coil. Come back to a neutral spine. We'll find a side bend. So your right hand comes beside the body. You can rest on the body as well. If you're up a little higher on the props, you might want a block or something under the hand. Get nice and tall, and then start to curl the right side body coming into a side bend. Left hand rests on the hip, or if it's okay with the shoulders, start to reach the arm towards overhead. You can always dial that arm back if that reach is not pleasing. Take a few breaths here. Good, inhale, come through to center, get really tall, and then we'll find the twist. Turn towards your right hand to the shin, the thigh, wherever you can brace. Left hand behind on the mat, or again, use support. Get tall, maybe open the heart. If the hips need to shift a little bit, just let them shift. Start to dig into the twist, and if it feels okay on the neck, start to turn the head. It might just be a little bit. And then take a few breaths here. Take an inhale, start to unwind as you exhale, shifting back, hands come behind you for support. Just step those feet to the mat about hips distance. Broaden through the chest, long through the spine, as long as you can get, and then start to pull the navel in towards the spine. You can stay here or take an inhale. Exhale, release the hands to the thighs. You can use a little support there as much as you want. You can stay here bringing toes to the mat. Or maybe pick one foot up or both feet up. If you pick one foot up, just notice which one you're doing and take a couple breaths here. Come back to that starting position when you're ready. Take an inhale, exhale, feet come down about hip distance, hands behind you, open the chest again, maybe lift through the hips. If this doesn't feel good, find a little windshield wiper of the knees. That's a nice way to wash out that, those poses. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, come on down. We'll come back to the seated position, this time with the left shin forward. So take a moment, adjust your props, adjust the legs. Remember, if the legs don't feel good folded in, you can work with them long if you'd like. Take a moment, get nice and tall, maybe close the eyes, just tune in with how you're feeling. If the eyes are closed, a little drop of the chin and blink the eyes open. We'll do that cat-cow again, maybe um, looking for a larger range of motion, even if it's just slightly larger. Inhale, a little push of the heart, the navel forward, tip the tail back. Exhale, coil and round. A couple more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back through to center. So this time left hand rests on the, the body or on the floor next to you. Start to coil that left side, getting a little opening through the right. Right hand stays on the hip, or maybe add the reach of the arm. Just be kind to that shoulder as the arm reaches. Once you settle to where you're going, take a few breaths here. Inhale, get nice and tall, and then start to twist to your left hand, rest on the uh, shin or on the thigh, right ha left hand behind you, supports, get tall, open the heart. Maybe those hips shift just a little bit, and then if you want, the gaze starts to turn. Take a few breaths here. Take an inhale, exhale, start to unwind. Shifting back, hands behind you, feet to the floor, knees up. Lift through the heart, strong spine, and then we'll add the hands to the backs of the thighs if you'd like. 
maybe come to the toes, maybe float the feet. And if you did one foot last time, do both. If you're ready for a little extra challenge, release the hands. But if you release the hands and you lose the spine, I want you to you know, come back, reset, and find that nice, strong queen, find that spine. Take another breath or two if you want. We're going to come back to that seated posture. Feet come down. If you're already in the seated posture, feel free to stay there. Hands and feet down if you want to add that lift through the heart. Release, coming down, coming to that seated posture, this time with that right shin forward, so we'll switch sides. You might start to notice the difference in the sides. We'll go through that one more time on each side. So hands to the knees or thighs. Inhale, press the heart forward. Exhale, coil. One more time. Inhale, press. Exhale, coil. Come back to center. Right hand touches down. Maybe that left arm reaches up and over. Take a little side bend. One more round of breath. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, take the twist. Remember, hips can shift. Heart opens. Feel that coil. One more breath. Big inhale. And exhale. Start to unwind. Shifting back. Hands support or hands to the backs of the thighs. Maybe float the feet. Just two breaths here. Feet down, hands behind you, windshield wiper those knees, or lift through the heart. Take a big inhale. Exhale as you come down, cross that left foot forward, come up to sit nice and tall, hands to the knees or thighs, two cat cows. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Come back to neutral, get nice and tall. Left hand down, curl that left spine, side of the spine and then start to reach up and over. Take one more breath here. Get nice and tall. Take the twist, heart is open, hips might shift a little, maybe turn the gaze, take a couple breaths. Start to unwind. Hands come behind for support if you'd like or move those hands to the thighs. Most important is that strong spine. Maybe float the feet. Maybe play with floating the hands. Hands and feet down. A little windshield wiper if you'd like or lift through the hips. Find that reverse tabletop. Hips come down, come back to a seat. This time, let those legs go long in front of you. Sometimes it helps to move that flesh out of the way so those sits bones can make contact. So find active feet, either a flex or a point, whatever works for you. Get really tall. Now with those legs long, you might want a soft bend in the knee. So notice what the spine is doing here. If it's rounding, if it's slumping, make an adjustment. Either lift those hips up, Give a soft bend in the knee, but get that spine nice and tall. Wherever you are, start to find a little point and flex of the feet. And then add a little roll of the ankles. Good. Now, step your feet about as wide as your mat, and you can adjust that depending on what feels good. Make sure you have your strap. Um, your left foot, your left leg, I'll have you bend and take that knee kind of wide. And this is where if that easy seat was challenging, you might need some support here. Take a blanket or a block under that knee for support if you'd like. You can play with how much bend you have in the knee. That's going to you know, depend on your body, so play with that. But find a place where you're in this sort of wide seated tree position. And then find your strap. You can either lasso the foot or you can bend the knee to take the strap. Start around the ball of the foot if you can. And then get really tall and pull the strap back so you have some gentle tension through the back of the leg. Good. Get nice and tall here. 
Now this might be enough, especially if you're tighter in the hamstrings or if in just being in the seated posture is challenging. I'll have you just stay right here. If you want a little bit more, get really tall, take an inhale, and as you exhale, just start to bend the elbows and hinge at the hips to bring the heart forward to the toes. It doesn't matter how far you go, what's important is that the spine stays long and the leg stays active and that you can breathe and you check in with those sensations of the body. Now, you might stay here. This might be more than enough for what you want today. If you'd like, take both straps in that left hand. The right hand just comes outside. You can certainly use the block if you want support there. Start to lift up just a little bit and then turn your heart a little bit more to the right. And now pull against the strap and hinge a little bit more. You might notice just a different sensation through the back of the leg. You might get a little into that IT band, this line that runs, you know, from just below the knee up to the hip. Take a couple breaths. Good. Inhale to come up. Go ahead and release the strap. And then you're going to... Uh, Step this left foot to the mat and bring that right leg in so the feet are at about hips distance. Get nice and tall. So I like to pull against the shin to get tall. And then right hand's going to stay on the shin as the left hand will come back as you pull yourself across into the twist. Heart is open. Gaze can turn just like it did on the other twist if you'd like. Take an inhale as you exhale, unwind. Now, if that felt like you had, you know, that was right, that was the right space for you, you're going to stay there. Some of you might have a little extra space in the hips. If you do, step the foot across. Just make sure this left foot makes really strong contact with the floor. Same thing, a little hug of the shin, get tall. Um, right hand stays on that shin and then turn the heart. And again, like the other twists, if the hips shift a little, it's okay. Take a couple of breaths here. Take an inhale as you exhale, start to unwind. Release that foot so the feet are about hip distance. Find a point and flex of the feet, maybe a little roll of the ankles. Good. One more time, uh, step those feet about as wide as the mat. This time, that right knee is going to go wide. Add the support if you want it. You know, play with it. You can add it, and if that helps you out, if it feels right to you, keep it there. If you add it and it just doesn't do the job, then take it away. Find your strap again. Strap comes around that left foot, and you bend the knee to get to it if you'd like. Get nice and tall, little tension on that strap. So you feel a real manageable amount of tension here. If not, soften the knee, let up on the strap. Don't let up on the length of the spine, though, if you can. Stay here if you'd like, or start to bend the elbows and hinge forward. The heart reaches, the shoulders stay back. When you find a place of happy tension, just stay there and breathe. That might be enough for you if you want a little bit more. Lift up just a little bit. Take both straps into the right hand. Left hand comes to the side. Pull your heart off to the side a little bit and then hinge. I said a little bit more, but it's not always a little bit more. It just might feel something a little bit different. Sometimes it's just a different sensation. When you're ready, release the strap, come back up. So this time that right foot's going to step to the mat. The left foot will move more to hips distance. Little hug of the shin to get tall. Take an inhale 
and exhale find the twist right hand supports behind you heart is open Take an inhale, exhale, start to unwind. Now you can do that twist again, or if you feel like you have the space, the right foot will come across. Just make sure you've got a firm uh, stance to the floor. Hug that shin in, get nice and tall. Take an inhale, exhale, twist. Right hand comes behind for support. Maybe the gaze comes be behind you. Take an inhale as you exhale, start to unwind, release those legs, feet about hips distance and find a little point and flex, a little roll. Good. Now from here, let the feet just sort of flop open and I want you to start to pull the feet in, making a diamond shape or a butterfly shape. And Play with where the hips sort of settle in the socket, settle into the body in a manageable place. Doesn't matter how close or as far as you are. Again, I want you to find that nice, tall, strong spine. And if you want the support of the blocks under the knees, add them. Maybe some rolled up or folded blankets under the knees or thighs might feel good. When you get to a good spot, hands are going to rest on the shins, maybe the ankles, and then push into the body and get tall, open through the heart. And if you can, close the eyes. Just find a couple of breaths here. Now, if you feel like you have the space for a little bit of a different shape, I'll invite you to drop the chin and blink the eyes open, keeping that spine nice and long. Start to hinge forward. Don't worry about how far you go. Listen to what's happening in the hips and in the knees and keeping the spine long and strong. And then inhale, start to come up. If you'd like, help the knees up, draw the knees towards one another and send those legs long. It might feel good here to take a little bounce of the knees or a little swish of the feet. And from here, I'll invite you to find a seated posture where you can hang out for a few moments. You might come back to that easy seat where we started you might like the butterfly shape or that diamond shape of the legs and the feet where we were. You might like the legs long, but see if you can find a configuration where you can sit nice and tall. And when you do get there, let the hands either rest on the lap or rest on the heart. Take a moment and just come back to that intention of finding a little bit of ease in these postures. Take a moment and just honor how regal and strong and wonderful your spine is. Thank you so much for joining me here on the mat today to practice some of these foundational postures. It is my privilege to practice with you virtually. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Namaste.